Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I pretty much joined police force because uh, I'd seen my dad do it for so long and he'd done it on a military level and I, I really wanted to come out and, and do it on the civilian scale. And this affords you the opportunity to, uh, to be out and not have to sit behind a desk and be active. And it's definitely, you know, it's something new every night. Cameron Street, Southeast Cameron. Okay, we got a report that a bunch of people are supposed to be drag racing down this stretch of road, so we're going to come down here and see if we see anybody drag racing. I don't really see anybody down here right now. It looks pretty empty. But we do have a vehicle up there that just made a turn without a turn signal, so we're going to go ahead and try and pull him over. Let's see if we can get caught up to him here real quick. Three oh nine, ready. I got one southbound on Forest Park who's refusing to stop blinking Nancy Mary in a blue Cadillac. Okay, he's running southbound on Forest Park, coming up on Hutchins Road, passing Forest Drive, coming up on Hutchins. Still southbound on Forest Park. It looks like uh, he's about to wreck. Uh, well, no, he's not. We're going to continue, and uh, hopefully we can get some other units so that when he bails out, we'll be able to get this guy. Three oh nine, we're westbound. Missed him. Right on, Bailey. He's bailing out. He's running on foot. Get down, man. Get down. Get down, dude. 1723. What are you running for, man? I told some boys they tried to run. Well, that don't mean. Then why didn't you just pull over and tell me that? I ain't know what was going on. After they tried, I was just trying to make it to my girlfriend's house right up the street. I was scared. They All just right, scared me. How do we? You call her house, sir. Her phone number 360. Yeah, right. Hold you down, man. Let me see you. Get all them tattoos on. What's that? Yes, sir. Huh? I've been had them yeah, when I was in prison back in. Uh, home What'd you go to prison for? Mike, Mike you just. Uh, Arm um, robbery. Arm um, robbery. What you um, doing? Arm Pockets for man. Check your I pockets. Thought, I he was digging in that right one. If you go straight back, Mike, it'll be the easiest way out. Yeah, let's just do that with him. Straight Because he's caught right now. Right. Lean over, man. Roll all the way over. Mm. I'm telling them. That my phone number. My girl stay right around now. Uh, all right, man. Let's get up. What's the name of that street right, right there? Oh. Up. Don't act like you can't walk. You was running good just a minute ago. But that's the guys on the truth. My ball man is tell you I just left work and everything. All right. They just got scared. That them boy tried to run and everything. They All right, man. Hang on. I called out on my job and told him to send me home because my mom right. had got sick. 
And that's why I was going to pick up my... Well, that don't make no sense for a reason to run from the police, man. You could have talked straight up then, but now you're in a lot more trouble than you would have been in. You know what I'm saying, Doc? Yeah. You was all right till you ran from the police. Now we had to do all that running and chasing after you and then run through you, run through the woods after you. That don't make no sense. You know? You could have hurt somebody, including yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I you about wrecked into the telephone pole. I understand. All right, man. How long is your license? What did your license get suspended for? Speeding tickets. Speeding tickets? What, you just didn't pay them? Yes, I had went to prison. All right, man. But that's God and I'm the truth. My girlfriend stay right up the street. Up. Long drive. All right, lean up for me. Okay, they're double locked, man, so they won't latch down on you, all right? Come on. Lean it. We got to get in the car. Sir. All right, buddy. Can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah, in a minute, but I want you can to have you a seat. Please take me to the hospital because I'm a hemophiliac. You're a hemophiliac? Yes, sir. I'm about to pass. Okay, we'll call an ambulance for you, okay? 1309 radio. 1309, go ahead. Three and nine. Go ahead and start me a four out here, code two. This uh, subject's got some scrapes on him from running through the woods. Okay. Please call my girlfriend. For yeah, we're going to call your girlfriend, man. I said we would. All right. I guess what happened is uh, so we got to the end of the chase, and he tried to make that turn to go uh, westbound on Macedonia. He was... Uh, he was coming down here and missed the uh, he missed the stop sign, but there's got one of those concrete uh, bus stop signs there, you know, one of the older ones. And apparently, he clipped the concrete bus stop sign and uh, knocked out the front quarter panel of his car and flattened his tire. That's when he sort of spun out and didn't have any choice but to bail out and run. So that's what happened there. Then he took off into the woods, and we went off chasing him. And apparently, he's got a bag of weed in the car, too. We're going to see if it's still sitting in there or not. He's just got this small bag of weed. Uh, it may have something to do with the reason why he ran. He told me, you know, he tried to make up a lie about it at first, Sarge, and say that he was running because uh, because he'd been robbed and he was scared of the police. He thought we were impersonating police officers. And then when we got got uh, the story from him, the truth, he said, I'm just running because my license is suspended and I got a bag of weed in the car. And so uh, that's what he was running for. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, the car came back not stolen. Right? Yeah, we ran it by VIN and by TAG. It comes back as not stolen. So we're going to go ahead and run him, you know, take him down on the suspended DL and the fleeing, the weed, and uh, that's going to be about it. He did some damage to his vehicle, but uh, there's no damage to anything else. I'm not sure how he did that. He may have clipped the telephone pole slightly, and that's going to be about it. All right. Okay. Interesting way to leave a car. Yeah, he said, uh, he, said he was just going to his girlfriend's house. He didn't make it. I don't think he made it. Been an officer here in Atlanta for almost, well, a little over six years. It's been the most fulfilling experience that I've had. I've never had a job before that I can actually touch people's lives. Every time you pull someone over or go to a call, you hold their destiny in your hand. You can either help people or, so they say, hurt people. But I don't see what me doing my job is actually hurting people. That's the way I see it. We'll have to lock you up for a while or whether uh, refer you to counseling or something. I feel like what I'm doing for you is most beneficial at the time. Sooner or later, you'll understand that what I'm doing is beneficial. This area right here is a known drug area. A lot of people frequent the area to come in to buy heroin. They'll buy it. You got a quick escape out through Bankhead Highway. The guy here is driving through. He's got a busted tail light here. One of them, only one's working, so I'm going to pull him to... to um, See if he knows his tail light's not working or his brake light's not working. Ninety-one thirty-eight radio, English and Fox. Great pickup truck. Morning, sir. Morning. See license insurance? 9138. Yeah, I was getting out of my vehicle. I don't have a license. Why not? Oh, uh, they're suspended. They are? Working. Officer, I'm I'm down here to pick some guys up that's worked for me. Mm-hmm. 
I don't need to go to jail. What kind of work you do? I do landscape. Landscape. So you got all your landscaping stuff in this box here? No, sir. I'm picking up the people to go to the job site. Where's the job site at? It's in Mableton. Who, who works for you down here? Uh, a guy named uh, Bubba. Bubba? Yeah, he's, he's a big, big black dude. Yeah. 38 Starman, 8285. I'm not supposed to be driving. But I picked him up there at Sunset and North Avenue. Recently. You what now? I picked him up at Sunset and North Avenue. Hmm. I'm not supposed to be driving. I know that. I just got out. I, I, I just got out of jail not long ago, and I'm due to go to court for my uh, driving on suspended license. But the only time I drive is to pick him up. I pick him up and he drives. Okay, step out for me. Turn around for me. All right. I don't need to go to jail, sir. I can understand that, sir. Any way I can call and verify that your company is working today? It's my company. It's your company? Yes, sir. So, is there someone there that's working today? There's not, there's not but about three of us that work for the company. Three? Yeah. So, there should be uh, two more guys there today then, right? Put your hands on your back for me. Right? They're at the job site. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. It should be two more guys at the job site that I can page or call, and they can call and verify your story, right? Right. Okay, you got a number I can call? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Number is... Uh, I just want you to have a seat right here for me, okay? Just squat down right there for me, okay? Sir, please. I don't mean this. See, it looks like right there he went through, he scratched this out here. He's got the film torn off of here. Expiration date there has been changed from 6 to 8. Here from a 3 to 8. Definitely 3 to 8. It's expired. You have a tail light out. No information to be found on OLN coming back under a mark on the old and a mark on the 28B. No record found by that. I'm not screwing with you, all right? Okay, now just gonna see if you knew your tail light was out. How long your license suspended? One year. So you know you could have got a temporary permit to drive. Only to and from work. No. See, I've got to pay for uh, the DUI course. So you haven't paid all your all your all your fines yet? Is that what you're saying? I'm on probation. You're on probation? For how long? One year. You know what I'm saying? You can get a temporary permit to drive to and from work. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Okay. So your license will be reinstated back in uh, in September, right? Right. Okay. Well, there's more you're going to go to jail for. Effective equipment for your brake lights, though. No. I'm sorry, sir. Sir, I don't, I don't, sit down. I don't sit down. have anybody here. Understand that. Sit down. I'm, have I a seat. I'm by myself. Have a seat, sir. Sir, I am I by myself. Sit down, okay? Listen, I am by myself Have a seat, here. sir. I have no relatives here. Okay. I don't have anybody to come get me out of jail. Understand it, okay? Please don't take me to jail. This is my job, all right? Please don't take me to jail, let me sir. Ask you this, let me ask you this question, all right? And you knew that you didn't have any license, right? I, I, the only time I ever drive my truck is in the morning to pick this guy up. He drives from there on. That's the only time. That is the only time I ever drive this vehicle. 9138, go ahead. Gary James Benson of the Don't take me to jail, sir. I don't have anybody here in town that can come get me out of jail. Please. How you doing? You've had a DUI 97? Your license, you were you were you were served and you, you surrendered your license then? Well you didn't surrender your license, but you were served. No, I did surrender. You know that your license no, this is your license right here. No, those aren't my license. I surrendered my license. Those are CDL, sir. Yeah, those are some license that have oh, I don't know, expired. I don't drive with those. Those have expired. What's wrong with those licenses, Tracy? Yep. Look at the expiration date on it. 
96. So why did you try and alter it to 98? I didn't try to alter it to a 98 dollar. Alright, man. Please don't. You got an FTA also on uh, 11 22 fade to appear? No, I, I had, I, that's what I'm going to court about. I got, no, I don't, I'm going to court. I've seen you. Thank you. He's going to jail. His defective equipment. The visor that he had uh, suspended license. Then to get his license, and he's got. He's tried to turn his threes on his license into eight. He's got scratch off. He's tried to change the expiration date on it from a six to an eight. And uh, license suspended for DUI. Also for uh, two failure to appear. So. Having a bad day so far. Pretty frustrating out here because we don't. We've got so many calls out here in Zone Three and it's so busy all the time. Probably the busiest zone in the city of Atlanta. You have to put up with a lot of people cussing at you, talking down to you, throwing things at you. You learn to grow up real fast out here in Zone Three because of the volume of calls. Um, I've only been out here. For about two years now, and I've got more experience probably than someone who's been in, a, in another zone a lot longer than me. So basically, the volume of calls out here make you grow up real fast. He gonna bail. What's up? Dang. He went through there? Sure yep. did. Dang, he gonna bail. Go ahead, Coop. Tell him. Had a vehicle speed, speeding up through here. We'll see if we can catch up to him, see what his deal is. He's running. Yeah. This thing is bugging me. Blake, they take the one on the right. I got the left. I got the one in the white. When I tell you to get down, get down, and get over on your belly now. Get on your belly. Put your hand behind your back. The other zone three unit is close. Did Mike get that one up there? Zone three, I'm on Mike. I got him. Mike, did you get that one up there? I got it. Get up. Get up. Get up. No, get up. You know, perfect. Hello. Shut up. What is this? Nothing. Well, you know, no heaven is out like it. Man, leave my lips. Don't talk. Okay. Man, I wish he wouldn't run up in there. Hey. Y'all need to get a little faster, man. Y'all let men like me catch you? <laughs> if you're going to decide to run from the police, you need to put some tennis shoes on. You don't have a driver's license? Mike, what? That's not good, man. Uh, what is that? That's not good. Did he check the check driver's license? Huh? They check the driver's license? They check and drive license? Yep. yep. Whose car is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, my friend. Your friend's car? Yeah. Is it one of these guys that's with you? Kill him? My, kill is his car? No, him, my friend. This car, no, no, he's here. Yes. Real six, I got the other vehicle stop. Yeah, can you run a tag for me? We're in the back part of the amphitheater. And we probably could have made it up through here. But it wouldn't have been worth trying it. Did you run it already, Mike? Do you have any needles on you? Do you have any needles on you? Do you understand English? No. A little. So, no, you don't habla English? No. Well, you just speaking English over that minute ago. You know you can't speak English? No, a little, man. Okay. You, know you got an ID on you? No. You know my beeper? Licencia? No. No, that. Cigarro? No. I'm not smoking. 
Yeah. That's your car? Cool. This stuff? Yeah. No, it's not like that. No, it's not. Where do you live? I don't know. You don't know where you live? Can't, maybe you can't. You can't remember? You can't remember where you live? Maybe him. Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe you can think about it once you sit in my back seat here. Okay. See if you can remember back here. Okay. What we have here is uh, this person here is a driver. Um, he uh, claims he doesn't have a uh, driver's license, no insurance. I think that's the reason why he ran. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and impound the vehicle and arrest all three sus suspects. You're not going to tell me who vehicle belongs to? Hey, one, one guy go, go the straight. What's that? The men, men driver with this car. Uh-huh. They go straight. He ran straight? Yeah, yeah. No, it was only three people in the car. No. It no, it was, it was three people. We saw all three of y'all jump out of the car. No, so you trying to tell me that the man that was driving this car yeah, got away? No, no. What do you say? Okay. Well, we'll see if you speak English and get to the jail. What he's trying to tell us is that uh, the person who was driving the car took off running. They said it, it was four people inside the vehicle. Uh, we saw the driver get out and run down the hill. I end up catching him. They trying to tell me that it's another person was driving the car. He ran up through the woods and got away. And then they're trying to tell me they don't understand English, so we're still trying to find out if the car is stolen or not. Maybe they have been drinking a little and saw us down there and decided to run. So we're gonna go ahead and arrest all three subjects. 132 in Bush, I got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code three. Thanks, Ted. Okay, 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag two. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 